This story is tragic. The reason it is so tragic is because it could have been avoided. If something can be transmitted sexually, it could also be transmitted by blood, right? Mysterious disease no one knows anything about. The Red Cross says that Canadian blood products are safe. Would you agree with that? I would agree that that is uh, their position. No one likes to hear the word. They say it's fear-mongering. Epidemic? Anyone who needed a blood transfusion in the last decade is at risk. <gasps> Every time he takes a shot, it's like playing Russian roulette, and every day there are more bullets in the gun. What are we going to tell him? Nothing. We're not going to tell him anything. Peter, where are you going? Peter! Do I have AIDS? We're doing everything we can to keep you safe. So I'm not going to get it? That's bullshit! Everything is not fine! The decisions affecting our lives are being made behind closed doors by fat cats in bad suits and corporations with financial interests. And the only way this changes is if we get up and we go out there and we tell people they are being royally screwed. People's lives are at stake here. His life is at stake. My son's life is at stake. Oh, life is bigger. How far would you go to keep your kids safe? It's bigger than you. How do you people live with yourselves? I'll move out. Do something. This is all your fault. I'm not the criminal here. People are still dying. You better do something about it. He's not and will not be a witch hunt. Your organization sent tainted blood to children. I thought that I heard you laughing. thought that I heard you sing. I think I didn't get AIDS. They gave it to us. They buried my friends. Now they're trying to bury the truth. You think you know the truth? You don't know anything. Based on the true events of the Canadian tainted blood scandal, Unspeakable, the limited series, January on CBC.